Hey, Joe from Back to Basics Health Solutions, back again. Well, you know what? I had a chat with uh, Caitlin yesterday, and um, I've got Vicky that's in with me this morning. Hi, everyone. <laughs> now, what I wanted to share with you is an amazing story, and this story has happened in 10 days, okay? Uh, Vicky came in about two weeks ago. We had a bit of a chat, and I have to say that she was the flattest of flat. I think we could have run over with a truck. In fact, I think she was run over. I'm sure you were, I was back then. <laughs> yeah. She was really down. She was tired. She was lethargic. She brain fogged, lost a mojo. And um, anyway, we had a bit of a chat and I said, look, I can see what the problem is. Um, besides there was the crap food I was eating. All <laughs> and the junk. The addiction to licorice, licorice lollies and everything. And she was doing everything wrong and she knew it. And you know what? She felt like crap. So... I said to, to, um, to Vicky, I said, look, you know what? I reckon, uh, come back and see me next week after we did our food stuff. Uh, I reckon you're going to feel a lot better. Well, I had a phone call. I think it was last Tuesday. It was. And I'm typing away, creating a, a new recipe book. And um, I didn't have her name stored on my phone. And I get this, this phone call. I'm like, yes. She's out there walking. She was so excited. Joe, I'm out here walking. I'm doing something for myself. And I had to share it with you and I've lost weight and I'm feeling fantastic. Go on, take it away because this was, I was having, my heart was pounding. I've got literally tears in my eyes because I'm like, oh my God, this lady's got it already. I uh, felt so good. It was just mind blowing actually. Like I was eating the right foods. I was losing weight. I wasn't feeling bloated. I had indigestion before this so bad that I was sitting up of a night because um, the indigestion was just so bad, burping and you know, feeling sick and everything. No indigestion at all. It's just been fantastic. And that's one of the reasons why I get used to do a food journal before I talk to anyone. It's not to nitpick, it's not so that someone's feeling embarrassed about what they're eating, but it allows me to see what it is that we're going to correct, okay? The good thing about it is there's no blame game. It's, you know, it's up to you whether you want to go healthy or whether you want to stick to the way you were. And I choose, and I hope most of you out there have chosen to do the right to thing. To feel good, yeah. To feel good about and yourself. And so this yeah. is 10 days. 10? Go on, tell me how much you've lost in 10 days. 3.2 kilos. Yay! <laughs> Absolutely amazing. I'm stoked. You can tell. Look at the face. <laughs> um, so from a lady that was, as I said, felt like, looked like she'd been run over by a truck to this consultation in 10 short days, is a total turnaround. Um, the energy and the vibe that I'm getting off her. Um, she's feeling fantastic. We've got, oh, she's popped it away now. But she's got a whole list of foods that she's doing. She says, Joe, I love the beef stroganoff. I, um, she's done the Thai recipe. I think she's almost done every, what, nearly every recipe that I have in there. Well, not quite. Well, there, well, that's recipe. what they're there for. <laughs> and she said, and I love that I can swap and change the foods around with the foods that you like. Yeah. And you're making the choices. And do you know this lady hasn't had licorice in 10 days? I haven't had any junk food. No rubbish at all. And I was just saying to Joe, the um, pork crackle that you use on your to chicken. Do yep. I bought two packets last week. I only used one in the chicken dish. And the other packet is still, still sitting. sitting there unopened where once I just go in and pick yeah. out on it. Yeah. It's like feast or famine. You're either all in or you're all right. out. And, yeah. and that's why I don't like... Um, the word dieting and we've explained this today and this is why I have a healthy living program is because diets fail and I don't yeah. want anyone to fail on the program but I want to be able to deliver you with the information that you're in control why we're changing the foods we don't focus on what you can't have because literally most people know I'm going to change some foods out and we're going to eliminate foods but I share with you the why and now what I'm doing is feeding and nurturing and nourishing your brain so that you're now back in control. And I can feel it already that you're so in control, but the best thing is this lady is doing it for herself. <laughs> yeah, my daughter actually said to me the other day, um, mum, it's not what the scales show, it's how you feel. Yep. And that's exactly right. If you're feeling good, regardless of the scales, whether they move or not, but you'll find they will move because yeah. you're eating healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we just have to do that switch over here. Um, and once we get the switch over, and as I said, it's exciting when you lose weight, but it, it sort of boosts up that enthusiasm even more. Yeah. But we also did centimetres, um, and she's taken size off her chest. Oh, come on. 
Your chest and your bra. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know where your bra used to cut into you? No more. Gone. Four, four centimetres. <laughs> so let's be real. Four centimetres she's taken off. So she's already taken down that bulge. That's four centimetres, and that means a lot when you have a bra on because when you're poking over the side, the bra cuts in into you. Yep. Yep. So four centimetres there. Uh, we've come down uh, the waist we've taken to her bottom, uh, which we said a bit of her bottom number is at three centimetres, and that's part, part of her bottom belt bottom belly which doesn't make sense but the the, the, the big roll of fat you have there <laughs> when it comes around the bottom if your belly happens to be hanging down it's part of that number but you took off three centimeters there so you know we've just taken size and shape off um and you're feeling better in this top end because yeah. when females put on weight we feel like our boobs are overhanging our bra this yeah. is cutting in we hate wearing a bra at the best of times when it's not fitting comfortably and already you've seen that change. I'm also not feeling so roly poly, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, and mean, that's that bloatedness. So, yeah. when we're eating poorly, we bloat in the belly, but when we've changed the foods out, I sort of say you get a flattened belly. I'm not saying we're going to rip all the, 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 the body fat away straight away, but that flatness is the bloating mm. that has now disappeared. Yeah, yeah. And you can feel that, and that's what I want you to do. I want you to, to feel. She knew what crap felt like, but I wanted to share with her how good feels yeah. and and the difference is it's just amazing. Yeah, yeah. I'd recommend this program to anyone. In fact, I'm telling all my friends. <laughs> now she is. <laughs> Once I tag her. <laughs> um, but anyway, if it's something that you want to do, if you need a little bit of help, this lady, as I said, two weeks ago was nearly broken. Um, now she's doing this for herself, she's feeling better and you can feel that energy just coming through. So, um, And if you don't believe what Jo's saying, feel free to message me. <laughs> I'll give you a wrap, I'll continue. I'm going to pay for it. I'm going to put her as my new PR lady. <laughs> uh, but anyway, it's all about um, taking ownership, knowing what you need to do, putting your life back into order by having some structure, organisation, food planning, getting the right foods in the house to make you successful, and the accountability. Yeah. And the accountability is. is the part you were missing before because when she was shopping, if you're going to shop, let's I'm just going to use the word licorice loaves because we knew she liked them, but if you're going to put them in the shopping trolley every Saturday morning you go grocery shopping, you, and then we call willpower, which I don't like, but if she puts them in, the intent is she's never going to make it through the week without not having them because they're already sitting in the cupboard. And I call this Pac-Man food. It's like, eat me. Remember, I'm still here. And you know that they're there and then you self-sabotage and you will go and eat them. Yeah. So even in this week, I said, right, groceries, we're not going to get any of these. We're going to, this is your groceries that we're going to work with. But already, as I said, you're not missing them. No, I'm not. Not at all. I also found it easier, like, we all go down that lolly, lolly aisle and the junk pile. I find it easier to look on the other side of the aisle than those lollies. Yep. Then and that way I'm not tempted to... Yeah, and when I first did this, you know, a zillion years ago, let's say 20 plus years ago, um, I had to also for myself walk past the aisle and not go down because I wasn't strong within myself because I wanted them. I had what I call greedy eyes. My eyes wanted the chocolate mm. biscuits or this and that. But then I chose to bypass that aisle and bypass the next aisle and then when I was feeling good and when you're fat burning, you're not looking for the sugars and the treats and, and all that. Exactly. It's actually not that hard. And then when no. you're content, you can walk up and down those aisles and it's not going to worry you at all. It hasn't at all. Mm. I mean, I did it from the first day I went shopping. I thought, if I'm going to do this, I'm, I'm going to do it <laughs> this And I, I didn't bypass it. I went down the aisle. I just was strong enough not to do yeah. it. But the thing I'd like to say, you've really got to want to do it. You've really yeah. want to, got to change your life and become healthy, otherwise you will not succeed. Mm. Yeah, that's all no, I can say. Awesome. <laughs> Go you. <laughs> anyway, catch us later. Watch this space because this lady, I'm going to be having her on here more often because um, it's exciting to see someone's transformation and, of course, someone who's ready to share their story with other people. And I'm loving it. Yeah. All I can say is try it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, catch us later. Bye. Thanks for watching.